how many three letter words can be made from the letters in success so let's try to understand the word itself we have letters as c u c c e s s so in all how many letters do we have we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 letters what do we need we need to place them in a way so that we can fill in three spaces just three spaces not all seven now amongst these letters how many of each kind do we have so as far as s is concerned so we have got three s's okay then two c's two c's uh, and then we have single letter U and single letter E. So one number of U and one number of E. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are all 7 letters. Now since you can see, some letters can come twice, some can even come three times. So in this case, we should actually go with cases. So let's see how to organize our cases. So let's say case 1. Here we'll take only single letters. No repetition. When I say only single letters, that means we will be working with only one S, only one C, only one U and one E. You get the idea, right? So, so we are working only with four letters and we have to fill in five spaces. Nothing is repeated. So, how many ways can you do it? Well, we are doing four. Out of four, we are selecting three. So, 4P3 is the answer, correct? So, that is case one. Now, let's do case two. In case two, we will take uh, one double. That means one letter will be repeated, right? So only one double, right? One double only. Let me write like this. So in that case, we have two possibilities. We could have two C's along with, uh, along with any of the others, which are S, U, and E, right? Or we could have two S with C, U, or E, correct? So that becomes next combination. Okay, so let's look into this one first. So again, we are left with three spaces. So we are going to fill these three spaces with two Cs first. Now, how many ways can we do that? Well, two Cs means there's a repetition but we are filling these spaces and total number of letters total number of places are three two c's to be filled so that becomes three p2 correct three p2 two c's can be filled in now once you fill in two c's then one of these three can get into so those are three different ways so i'll multiply that by three and now we could have double with s also so times two does it make sense to you? Correct? So, so you get the idea. First, we'll fill up these two C's. We have 2P2. Now, I forgot to write divided by 2 factorial since they are not a C here and C there and they're reverse. will just give me one combination. So we have to divide by 2 factorial. Got the right? Then three of these letters can come one by one. So times three. So we get with two C's. Now, same story is to be repeated with two S. So that's what you get. Is it okay? Now let's talk about case three. So in case three, we have triple. Uh, because we cannot have two doubles, right? We are only limited with uh, three positions. So we can have a triple. Triple combination is only one, right? So which is, which is only one for us. Is that okay? Now combining all, we get our final answer, right? So, so we can combine all this. So we get our answer as 
total of all this which is 4p3 plus 3p2 divided by 2 factorial times 3 times 2 plus 1. You get an idea, right? Let's calculate and write down the answer. So we have 4p3 which is 24 plus 3p2 equals 2. So 2 factorial and 2 factorial gets cancelled. We'll just multiply 6 by 3. We get 18 here and plus 1 and that gives you uh, 24 plus 18 plus 1 as 43. So there are 43 different ways in which we can make three letter words from all these letters in success. So I hope that helps. So you could actually solve such questions using different types of cases. Then it becomes simpler. Thanks for watching. And if you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.